Happy New Year and welcome once again to your RMU Men's Hockey Update. I'm Matt Geico with head coach Derek Schooley as we get ready for 2015 and a whole new event with an outdoor game coming up. I want to go back and, and look at 2014 and in particular the Three Rivers Classic. Coach, thanks for the time again today. Um, a very challenging assignment for your Colonials this past week at Consol Energy Center. You played a couple ranked opponents. Big win over Penn State on Monday in the semifinal game, 4-2, to two, and then Colgate takes the championship on Tuesday night. What kind of lessons did your team learn from that whole experience? Well, I think that uh, we used, we spent a lot of energy and emotion in game one against Penn State, and with both teams being obviously ranked and that we played, it, it was a good challenge for our guys. But uh, we spent a lot of emotion, um, and uh, I think we just came out flat on the, the second night. And, I don't know if it was we used all of our emotion up or, or what happened, but we just didn't have uh, the same jump and the same excitement that our team usually plays with. And unfortunately, uh, we went up against a very good Colgate hockey team that, that uh, played their game and played well, and we were chasing the whole night. Now, we look back at 2014, you're wrapping up uh, an impressive record for your club, 29-9-6 in the calendar year. That's a 727 winning percentage. Of course, you had the Atlantic Hockey Championship, the NCAA appearance past uh, spring and the best starting program in history to this season. How do you improve upon that and how do you move forward in 2015? Are there new goals that you can set? Well, I mean, obviously that was an outstanding year. I mean, you can't uh, take anything away from uh, 29 wins and to have that kind of uh, uh, record and, and those accomplishments is, is uh, just outstanding and hats off to the players for, for everything they accomplished. But, uh, now we just have to keep doing the same thing, and that's the, 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 the next step is consistently do this. Um, we had a, a, a great year. Now it's time to move on to 2015, but we're, we're in the midst of a, a good season. We just need to keep playing the way we've been playing, keep focusing on, on doing the right things and playing our game, and, and that'll take care of himself, itself. And uh, you want to do consist have consistency. You know, we talked at the beginning of the year about uh, what's the next step, and the next step is to do this on a consistent basis and not be a one-hit wonder. And with 2014 brings a new challenge, the Colonials will carry a 12-3-3 record into the first outdoor game in program history against the Bowling Green State Falcons at Fifth Third Field in Toledo. And it's, it's a whole different atmosphere for not just you, but also the players. What have you told the team about what they might expect and, and how to handle this different scenario? Well, the guys will be excited. It's one of those things that they they grew up playing outdoors. A lot of them are for cold weather places, so they played on ponds, they played on outdoor rinks, but they'll be excited about that. And um, We don't know the challenges they're going to bring. We haven't skated outdoors, but there's also there's going to be sun problems, there's going to be uh, cold problems, there's going to be rain, potentially snow, all during the time that we're playing. So uh, that'll be exciting, and uh, I'm more worried about how I'm going to stay warm on the bench, because. <laughs> The guys will be moving and they'll be sweaty and they'll be there. I'll be just getting rained or, or snowed on and uh, try to keep warm myself. But um, it'll be exciting and our guys will enjoy it. And hopefully uh, it doesn't take away from the, uh, the importance of this game. because These are two teams that are playing, uh, uh, are both ranked teams and, and playing uh, uh, good hockey games. And you don't want to take away from um, that. And hopefully the ice holds up and the weather holds up. The weekend will actually conclude right here at 84 Lumber Arena, 7 o'clock face-off on Sunday night, so that's a little bit different too. And as you mentioned, Bowling Green, a ranked club at number 13. Four games in seven days too, that's the busiest stretch of the season, all against ranked opponents. So what does this all mean this whole week as far as a mid-season opportunity? Well, it's just a, the, the nice thing is you get to a couple different special events, playing in the Three Rivers Classic and Saul playing at uh, Fifth Third Field, and then coming home and playing a, a home game against a, a very good opponent. So it's a, it's a junior hockey, pro hockey schedule, and uh, we had yesterday off, which was, uh, I guess, I even lost track of the days now because you don't know a, a Wednesday. So uh, we practice Thursday, Friday outdoors, and then get after it and play hockey against Saturday, Sunday. So our guys get a, a chance to play a lot of games in a short amount of time, and, and so far so good. Being, We'd like to be 2-0, and oh, but 1-1 one and one is uh, better than the alternative. A whole new frontier for the Colonials. Stay tuned to rmucolonials.com. We'll have the game preview coming up in just a few minutes. And also, we can check out the game coverage from Saturday and Sunday right there on the website, too. Coach, thanks for the time. Thank you. It's been fun. We look forward to the continuation of an awesome week for Colonials Hockey.